This is lesson 101 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. This lesson, sift through text with regular expressions. It says regular expressions are used to find certain words or patterns inside of strings. For example, if we want to find the word the in the string, the dog chased the cat, we could use the following regular expression. And here's the example for it slash the and then another forward slash and then GI and they break it down the first forward slash is the start of the regular expression the word the is the pattern we want to match then they have the second forward slash is the end of the regular expression G means global which causes the pattern to return all matches in the string not just the first one and I means that we want to ignore the case uppercase or lowercase so again the G global just make sure to return um, every instance of the word the if that G wasn't there it would stop it would just return the first the and then the I um, will ignore casing so if this I wasn't there it would not return this first the because this is an uppercase it would only return this one so if you want to ignore case, you need that I. And G is to get every instance of the word. Okay, so instructions select all the occurrences of the word and in test string. You can do this by replacing the dot part of the regular expression with the word and. So that one seems easy enough. They give us an example here. Here's test string. So here they create a variable called expression to get software and they assign it this regular expression that will search for software every instance of it and it will ignore casing we have line 7 which is software count a variable called software count which is going to tell us how many instances software appears and it does that by using test string which is going to be this and it's going to match expression to get software so it's going to match everywhere that it can find software and then it's going to give us the length of how much ever times it finds it so down here we're going to do the same thing and they actually already kind of did it for us we have our expression our variable called expression we want to look for and and we also want to find every instance of it and ignore casing that actually should be all that they're asking for because down here this is going to count the matches of expression in test string so it should return two because the word and appears once and I think over here oh right here so those are two instances when we run our test, it should, line 17 should return a length of 2. Let's see. So we did pass it, but I'll make sure you guys see this. There's a 2. And that's it for this lesson. Regular expressions, just before I sign out, are really powerful when you learn how to utilize them and uh, they might be the most cryptic looking but master regular expressions